Hey everyone, this is Bird Ranger. Hope you're doing good. Today's episode, it's all about a bird. No, a plane. No better than that. A small drone called the DJI Mavic Pro. Damn! So welcome to this unboxing of the DJI Mavic Pro. Very excited because I'm a big fan of DJI. I actually own the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Really like the drone, but it was a bit too big for me. So I was not bringing it everywhere I wanted to go because I had to bring another bag. So I was super excited when DJI introduced the Mavic Pro because that thing is so small. And I think this is what we're gonna to discover today together. Uh, there's been num numerous reviews on the actual features of this drone, but I think for me, the actual best thing about this drone is the portability. Literally, I will bring that in my photo bag and this is huge for me. So without further ado, let's deep dive into the box and see what's in a box of a DJI Mavic Pro. So here it is, the Mavic Pro box. Looks a lot like an Apple box, yeah, I admit it. But at the end of the day, Apple makes some great packaging and the you know the brands are just following the lead. If you think about Fuji, if you think about DJI or Sony or any other products, I mean, they looked at what Apple did for packaging and it's part of the experience. They understand that the details actually count and that's what we're gonna see today with this little tiny box. So when you open, the box you get presented with uh, two main things and this is the drone itself right here and the joystick or actually the, the remote control and the first thing I notice if I compare to my uh, DJI Phantom 3 that, that I just sold is the actual size of everything I mean just look at that this is well, almost uh, <laughs> fell so here's the here's the joystick or actually the the remote control this is so small guys like this is uh, very 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 portable and if you look at the antennas here right so the, you get your two joysticks you get a couple of buttons here and you got the place to hold your phone so I think it'll hold up to an iPhone 6 plus or an Android you know Nexus and all these great phones so you put your phone right here and you can actually see what you're doing uh, you're, there's also a display on the actual uh, joystick on the actual uh, remote control so you can actually see some more information in there uh, so that's a, a pretty nice addition but again look at the size of this this is very very small and if we go to the uh, other compartment here, this is where you'll get all your charging cables. So this is the charging cable itself with a nice little Velcro wrap, tie wrap here. It's pretty neat stuff. You also get a micro USB cable to actually plug the remote control and charge it. And Another little cable here, which is, it's, it looks like if it's mini something to mini something, so I'll get to, uh, I'll have to get to know what this is. And that's about it for here. Oh, another adapter here. So if you guys know what this is, please put it on the box below because I don't know what this is yet. And if we continue our way through the box, there's here, this is the manual. So again, I really entice you to go download the manuals on your phone or your iPad because uh, you're never gonna open that on the field. You're gonna go through your phone or through your iPad to get access to information very rapidly. And this is the charger, the actual uh, block, AC block, right here. And there's the Piazza Rizzi stones. I mean, this is, look at this. I just, I just remember the uh, DJI Phantom 3 that I just sold. It was like that big and that big. And I had to bring a bag when I wanted to go somewhere. And just look, look at this. This is, this is crazy guys. Like this is literally fitting in any photo bag. And this is of course when it's all fold, um, you know, on the drone. But let's, let's open it, like let's see how big of a drone that is. So if you go like this, and then like this, and like that, this is the total size of the actual drone itself. And let me tell you something, this is 
a drone that will be coming with you when you travel. This is a drone that will be coming with you when you go to the cabin or whatever you want to go. Uh, it, it, it is so small. Uh, this is the 4K camera. That's a, another nice addition uh, for me because the DJI Phantom 3 that I had was 3K, or sorry, 2K, 2.7K, uh, which is a, a little bit lower resolution. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews actually about the camera, the 4K camera. Uh, I will test it for myself. I will put some footage on the channel here. Uh, but here it is guys, I mean this is this is not more complex than that, this is the whole box right there and of course you have the nice little propeller here uh, to put on the actual drone and I think you get a, an extra set uh, if you actually break one. So there you have it, um, this drone is actually flying to speeds up to 64 kilometers per hour. This is 40 miles per hour. This is a very, very fast machine to a point where uh, I will need to learn how to fly this thing because the, the, you know, the DJI Phantom 3 standard, uh, very, very good drone for beginners. The, my first flight, I was so stressed about flying it, but you know, got into the groove and I, would, I was able to do some you know, maneuvers and stuff like that. That drone is built for speed. I'm not sure I'll be using it to its full you know, uh, speed because because for me it's more about taking some aerial photography and to get some cool shots, cool angles that I wouldn't get if I wasn't using a drone. Um, I'm not into like this, these races that some people do. But anyways, it's good to know that it can fly very, very fast. Another thing that's pretty cool for, you know, kind of newbies like me, is the fact that it can avoid obstacles. It will actually recognize there's some sensors here and some sensors in the at the bottom. So it'll actually recognize if uh, it's gonna be you know hitting something. And if it is, it'll actually stop and you'll get a notification on the uh, joystick here. So another cool feature is that it's truly stabilized uh, 4K footage. So you won't get any you know, wobbly footage. Um, the, the stabilization on DJI uh, systems is really, really, really good. Again, experienced it with the gimbal on the DJI Phantom 3 standard, and I'm expecting this to be even better uh, since it's newer technology. There's also another cool thing, it's called Tap Fly, uh, and other smart features like that that are basically making your, your videos look good without really having to you know play with the settings. Um, there's some, some smart mode actually, so a bit like Fuji with their uh, system where you get to choose a film or a film simulation, there is some a smart mode already uh, pre-embarked in this little machine so you spend less time editing and more time shooting and more time sharing your uh, great work so pretty cool stuff the other thing that I learned uh, through uh, some other reviews and I will test it for myself is that fact that this drone can actually land very 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 close to where it actually uh, took off uh, better than any other DJI drone or any other drone. Uh, for me, that's very important because sometimes I find myself using drones in like at a cabin where there's a you know a lake and I have a pretty small uh, runway where I want to you know take off. So the fact that it can actually land back exactly and I know that there's some sensors in there that actually take a picture when it uh, when it flies. So it uses GPS and sensors to actually go back to where it started. So pretty cool stuff here. Very excited about this drone. This is my um, new DJI Mavic Pro and I can't wait to share some footage with you. If you want to see some footage, this video needs a thumbs up. If you want to see uh, this drone in action, subscribe to the channel. You'll get a notification as soon as I put another video up. So I've been Fred Ranger. Be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your drone. Cheers.